Hey everyone, I'm Ellen here at eTrailer.com and we're going to be taking a look at the Auto Brake Electric Brake Controller. This is kind of a unique style of brake controller since it is going to be a trailer mounted brake controller. That eliminates the need to have the unit mounted in your cab, which can cause a lot of issues with interference from your airbag, causing some issues whenever you're getting in and out of your vehicle, whacking your knee against it. There's just never really a good spot these days to find a, a place to mount those brake controllers, and at best it just kind of looks awkward. So we don't have to worry about any of that with this guy. The only thing that you'll have in the cab is going to be this little key fob here. So you can press the button for the auto, or, uh, the override and then also adjust the aggressiveness of the braking right from this little piece. So you can mount this on your dash, put it on your keychain, have it somewhere readily at hand, but not have to take up a lot of space or worry about any kind of interference. The brake controller itself, again, it is going to be mounted on your trailer. It is a proportional braking system, so you don't have to worry about any kind of delay between hitting the brakes in your vehicle and getting that brake feel from your trailer as well. So as you're coming to a stop in your vehicle, the sensor in the brake controller will read that and uh, apply the brakes proportionally to what you're doing. So if you're slamming on the brakes in your towed vehicle, this is going to match that force. If you're coming to a nice gradual stop, same thing. It's going to match whatever deceleration it senses from that tow vehicle. Again, you can't adjust this. There's going to be five different levels, five different levels of adjustment for the aggressiveness. And then there's also three presets for different weight classes for your vehicle. So I'll go over those specs with you in, in just a second. We'll have our buttons up at the top. So whenever you first install this, it does have to go through a calibration period where it just kind of gets used to the feel of the trailer and gets everything lined up. But after that, it's pretty much good to go. It's a one-time calibration process and it takes about 20 minutes really to get this installed. You do have to wire it into the wiring on your trailer. Usually it's an easiest, it's the easiest to do that at your junction box. If you don't already have one, you can find those here at eTrailer.com. I would suggest picking them up. Uh, it's just a, an easier way to run the wiring on your trailer if you don't already have one. You also do need to have a seven pole wiring on the back of your vehicle to really get the most out of this. You can kind of use it with a four pole, but it's not advised. It really should work with a seven pole um, for the best outcome for this. If you don't already have seven pole wiring on your tow vehicle, you can again find that right here at eTrailer.com. We have a lot of custom fit wiring for all kinds of vehicles out there, so check that out if you don't already have it. But let's take a closer look at the unit and make sure that this is going to be the right fit for your particular application. You can see it's just going to be this slim little box. Wiring comes out at the bottom here. It does have a fuse, so if anything should happen, uh, you can change out that fuse and not have to change out the unit itself. They have slimmed this down a little bit from the original. It was a little bit wider before and there were actually four holes that you had to mount in place so it could make it kind of tricky if you were going to mount this on the tongue of a trailer but now with this design it should fit more applications. You can mount this in any sort of direction and at any angle so there's no limitation as to where you can really mount this up. It does come with complete instructions on how to get everything installed so where all your wiring connections are going to be made and all that good stuff comes with mounting hardware and a wire bracket to clamp that off and tie it off to somewhere easy for your, um, your wiring to not get bound up. As far as the specs with this, again, I, like I mentioned before, it does have three weight settings. So the first one would be up to a trailer that's 3,500 pounds or 3,500 pounds. So setting number two would be between 3,500 pounds and 6,900 pounds or 6,900 pounds. And then the final setting would be between 6,900 pounds and 12,000 pounds. So that gives you kind of a weight class to work from with the initial setup but then you can adjust the, again that aggressiveness from the key fob to match with whatever you're towing and kind of in comparison with your tow vehicle. The other nice thing about this particular brake controller that I really like is that you can switch between different vehicles with this really easily. You don't have to worry about swapping out that brake controller or running more wiring than you need to. Once you get this installed on your trailer, it doesn't need to go anywhere. And the only thing that you would have to switch over is the key fob. So it makes it really easy if you're gonna be swapping different vehicles or maybe sharing a trailer amongst different people. Maybe you've got a band or a gear that you're sharing between several folks. It makes it really easy to 
get this uh, connected with other vehicles and stay safe and stay compliant with all local laws and everything like that and not have to worry about switching that out. So that makes it really handy and very versatile for all kinds of towing. I'll give you some measurements and then that's about going to do it for us. As far as the size, we have about six and three quarter inches for the length, about four inches for the width. You do want to give yourself a little bit of room top and bottom though so you can get access to those buttons and see what's going on with that light and then also to give a little bit of room for the wiring. Thickness is about one and three quarter inches. The distance between the mounting holes side to side is about five and three quarter inches and we've got about 20, 24 inches of length for our wiring or about two feet of length for that wiring. There is a three-year warranty on the brake control and a one-year warranty on the key fob. It is made in the USA and that's about all there is to it for our look at the auto brake electric brake controller. I hope this has been helpful in deciding if this is the right piece for you. Again, I'm Ellen here at eTrailer.com. Thanks for watching.